sore for a few days, not being able to walk on it. Um, so Bindi's been a patient of mine for a little while. Bindi is a little Shih Tzu. She is an adoption dog, she was a rescue dog. It's such a lovely story because Bindi these days has such a loving home. And Bindi About three months ago was diagnosed with a condition called hyperadrenal corticism. And what that's commonly called is Cushing's disease. Cushing's disease is a condition where there's too much cortisone being produced in the body. Hyperadrenal corticism, like all hormonal disorders, tends to lead to signs that often owners don't pick up. So things like where they're a bit hungrier than they used to be, or they're a bit thirstier than they used to be, or classically Cushingoid dogs tend to be little fatties. So you can see with Bind, she's got quite the tummy and she's got quite the appetite. So we started Bindi on some treatment for Cushing's disease about three months ago. She is doing remarkably well, but for some reason, Bindi always seems to get herself into trouble. So yesterday, Rachel left Bindi at home and came home in the afternoon and Bindi is not walking on one of her legs. So this right forepaw here um, seems to be the problem. And essentially, we don't actually, we couldn't actually get a very good look at it in the consult itself because Bindi wouldn't let us have a look. So it's the first time I've really seen Bindi get really stroppy um, and it must mean that it's just a really, really sore foot. So we're not gonna push her and what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually just give her a really, really small anesthetic and what we're gonna do is have a look at the paw so we can see if there's any glass in it. We're gonna do take a couple of x-rays so we can see that there's not a break. Um, and we're gonna just make sure that there's nothing, I guess a bit more sinister going on with that paw. So Bind, why don't we find out what's wrong with that paw? This paw is super inflamed. No wonder it's so painful. You can see her breathing like she is, and that's because this paw is so painful. Dogs, they're like little puzzle pieces. I'm trying to fit all of the pieces of the puzzle together. Sometimes it's really difficult. She could have broken the toe. I'm gonna do an X-ray now. Oh. So we're just having a look at Bindi's x-rays. So this is Bindi's little foot here. So they all look really good. So I can't see that there's any break here. Um, I can't see that there's anything wrong with the actual bony, bony part of Bindi's foot. So guys, we're gonna start Bindi just on a little bit of antibiotics. And we're also going to give her some antihistamines. She's also on an anti-inflammatory. The x-rays look good, there doesn't seem to be a break, and I can see now that we've had a look at it that there's a really, really swollen middle digit here. So I think Bindi's probably been bitten by something. So we just need to actually get that paw swelling down a little better. And I think in the next day or two, Bindi should be back on her feet. I also noticed that Bindi has every now and again quite a lot of discharge, mucoid discharge from her eyes. So it's something that I hadn't seen before in her um, and we've just done a sh what they call a Sherma tear test. And Bindi also has a condition called keratoconjunctivitis sicca, also known as dry eye. And it's essentially where the water component of the tear is not being produced. So what we've actually done with Bindi today is that we're also gonna start her on some eye medication as of today and then we're gonna get her back in in the next couple of days to check out how they're going. So she's a complicated little dog. Always seems to have something wrong with her. Every time Rachel leaves her with someone, apparently something always ha bad happens to her. Oh, I'll squeeze her. Do you want me to carry you? <laughs> she's so cute. Hello. Better. She's like putting it down, walking. 
one now. I can know your eyes. Um, so the drops have been going in yesterday and just this morning. They've cleared up already. So what we might okay. do is let's put you down on the ground and let's watch you walk up. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Is your poor better? Poor better! What happened to it? Did you get bitten by a spider? Yes. You don't like spiders, do we? No. <laughs> She wouldn't even let me touch this the other day. So the fact that she's even letting me get this close is pretty good. It's only been, what, 48 hours? Yeah. Which is great. Can we do a Shema tear test so we can have a look at these eyes? They're more comfortable eyes, aren't they? That's a fish. Might be the other eye who actually called me this squish. I don't know where I got that name from, but I just feel like because she's like a little squish. <laughs> and I just love her. Got a little piece of paper in my eye. So a lot of dogs don't love this test. As you might imagine, you can see that Vinny's got this like little piece of paper in her eye. She's been very tolerant with it. So Vinny is now sitting, after one minute, she's sitting at 19, which is great. So normal is 18, she was sitting at 10 the other day. So just after a couple of days of those drops, Hey, Brindy. See you. Come on, then. See you. Right. Brindy, you're going to be right. Brindy, back to walking on that leg. I'm very happy. Great news. <laughs>